Hey everybody, Grant with Renew Auto here. We'll do a quick walk around video of the Porsche Boxster. Try to show all the different um, or panels at different angles, see if there's any imperfections, get everything pointed out. You know, most of the vehicles that we sell get sent all over the country. And so I try to make these videos and point any imperfections out so there's no you know, surprises when it gets off the truck. Um, starting at this corner, looks like we've got no curb rash on this wheel. I did notice two really small dimples right here really really hard to get on camera but it's almost I wonder if somebody like tried to open this too far or something but I mean, again super super small but I just try to show everything possible um, fortunately no real significant rock chips across the front end these headlamps are perfectly clear I mean the car's been garaged its entire life and so luckily those haven't begun to fade or anything try to show if there's any scrapes across this bottom here Moving to the passenger side, not seeing any curb rash on that wheel as well. And same with the windshield. Still has the original, I don't know if it'll show up, but the antenna in the windshield. The VIN number there. So original windshield to my knowledge. Um, no rock chips on this side view mirror. No look for any door dings on this driver's side. The only thing I was able to find was there's a, there was a light little scratch right there, but we've got that filled in with color and clear coat. Uh, no curb rash on this rear driver wheel either. Oh, and uh, obviously the important one, the top is in stellar condition. Totally clear rear window. You know, these yellow super fast on you if they spend any time outside. Move around to the back here. Both of the bumperettes are in great shape. And we actually went through and did a full paint correction across the entire paintwork. So we clay barred it, did a really deep compound, polishing paint correction, and installed some sealant. So you don't have any of those, uh, you know, swirl or spider webbing uh, car wash marks that you get if you've, you know, been driving the car through a brush car wash a lot. No curb rash on this last wheel. Going to this side, I'm not seeing any. It's a really, really light, light dimple there. But again, almost. Oh, there we go. Almost see it right there in the camera. Tough to get on camera. Again, I mean, really light, but just trying to be overzealous about pointing everything out possible. Oh, one little scratch there too. But we've already got that filled with the uh, color and the clear coat as well. So there's that mirror. Let's move to the interior. Stellar shape as well. The one thing I could find in the interior is a little bit of this finish, that rubberized finish um, chipping off of this armrest. If somebody's got a great place to do the restoration on these, uh, you know, these rubberized finishes that you see in the 2000s, let me know in the comments. I'd be really curious to find out. Got the inside of the uh, convertible top in awesome shape and the leather as well. Uh, let me run over to the other side. We'll, we'll, let's, uh, we'll start it up and show the convertible top as well. If I can find the keys here. AC blows cold on it. Um, no air lights. In fact, let's get the doors closed. Put the seatbelt on. Show that the show that, that rear spoiler button. I'm not sure why on these boxers. Again, maybe somebody in the comments can let me know, but the car always needs to roll forward a couple of feet before that light goes off for the spoiler. I know there's a lot of uh, Porsche enthusiasts in the comments who can maybe explain why that is. Every single box I've ever had, that spoiler light doesn't go off until you roll the car forward. See, all of the original factory labels and everything are still intact. Awesome, awesome car. Just really, really, really clean. 
and a great way to kind of get into the uh, Porsche collector world without spending too much money. So um, let me know if you got any questions, if you want pictures of anything in particular or video of anything in particular. My email is grant at renewauto.com or text me 435-278-8915 and we'll talk to you then.